M0FXB, welcome to my channel with the Anytone 578 and the BT01 Bluetooth microphone and screen. And you can see on my screen at the moment on the, let's call it the A band, we've got my hotspot on Talk Group 91. And on the B band, we've got Hubnet, which is my all star node. And if you look at the top of the microphone, you can see we've got Digimode enabled, low power. We can see that we're on color code one with a little volume tab there and even a little Bluetooth logo uh, and the battery charge. So it's all there, all the information that you would expect to see on the normal radio. And it's very similar to the 878. What's the difference? Well, it's not a radio. It's a Bluetooth microphone. The 878 is a full blown radio. But the upside is that when I do use the BT01, it's a it's using the 50 watts and the collinear on my roof. Uh, where my handheld isn't. So some of the basics I think you should know about the rate about setting this up. When you first get it and turn it on, it's just going to have a. Um, if it's if it's not the co plug that's that if you haven't loaded a co plug in it, it's going to be very basic. So one thing I did learn is what you go to when you're on your co plug in the normal way, go to tools and go to options here, and in this section here, I mean I always like to have. GPS, Bluetooth, APRS enabled in the 578, the newest model, which is the 500,000 contacts with our APRS receive, you would tick this one as well, and analog APRS receive, and we've got AM. And then this is the new one, really, the Bluetooth headset. That's the new one, because once you've done that, click OK, and obviously you have to send this to your radio, which then in turn sends it to the BT01. Then when you go into your optional settings, which is here, look, optional settings, and you look at the this one here Bluetooth look and now you can start programming your buttons now the button P1 underneath the PTT and there's three buttons underneath the PTT P1 I've done it so that it's a main channel switch so you push it and you go between A and B band that's I find that a lot easier to use and then let's just say you go to A or B band and you've got activity um, well you want to know that you can you can stay on that. So if we go to the long press of number one, so long press key, this is P1 underneath the PTT again. I hold it down and I, and I, I go into single receive. I'll, I'll do that now quickly. Um, and it will just say sub channel off. And now I can flick between A and B. Like so. And And we can just talk and listen to the you know the station that we can see on the screen it's a lot easier volume wise you just push the button in the middle like so you get volume push it again you get channel now you can set it in the code plug to just do volume but that's what you do and then the button right and left is volume and you do get a slider and you can enable and disable the slider as well then you've got your up and down arrows for the zones and then the usual menu. Long menu, if you go into settings, another long menu. And it's very nice and I'll do a close up on that. So just showing you any settings that I may have added for this. I mean, power on, I always like to set up that it kicks off on my main talk group, which is talk group 91. And then my main analog item which for me is my all-star node but for you it'd probably be your local repeater that's what i like to do back to bluetooth and i haven't really played with any of these B bluetooth options all i've got here is bt on off but it's showing that you the the bit the the settings here that that you can pair a b it says here bt internal mic bluetooth internal speaker so i'm wondering if we can pair additional items to the the blue the b01 let's call it um, and I'm going to experiment with that as well. On the right hand side, I've showed you those buttons and I've added things like GPS information, analog APRS info, digital monitor, digi monitor, that's quite a big one. So P2, long press, that's the second button down. So get onto that. It's, they're not, I wouldn't call them big buttons. There you are, digi monitor, double slot. So I've set that because that's one that I use quite a lot. Backlight duration is always up down key. You can have channel frequency or volume. And you've got these new things here, RX noise reduction level. 
not done that, but that's got to be quite useful. BT synchronized shutdown host. So I'm guessing that if we turn that on, yeah, and I'll save that setting for when I do send it to the radio. Save it to my 578 folder. Like so, just leave it for now. That when we turn off the Bluetooth, it will turn off the radio at the same time. So we'll do that live now, see if that actually works. Actually, we'll have to send it to the radio. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that just so you can see what happens and then we'll end the video. So right to radio, click OK. We've done the digital contacts in the normal way. We're writing and what happens is a bit of a delay. The, the Bluetooth device stays on. External mode, it's still saying external mode at the moment. We are writing to the radio. USB's in the radio, it's like a micro USB. Click OK. And then you see that it says on the BT01, no device. We've sent that data and then eventually it comes back on. The 578 says, there's my little, lo I've put the logo on, my, my sort of personal logo on, which is quite easy on the 578. Just go tool, boot image, load an image here, and then write to radio. So sometimes it doesn't work straight away, connecting the zero one. If it doesn't, just turn it on and off. But look, it's come on. I'm just gonna turn it off, hold the off button down, and see if it turns off the radio. Yeah, and it has. It's turned off the radio. So we'll end it there. Lots more to learn about this BT-01. But to me, it seems a very good, very good device. Looks like lots of fun. And uh, yeah, worth what it costs. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.